<laughs> Dustin Tokarski has a shutout in both of these scrimmages. Is, you know, he has NHL experience last year. Is there a chance you would come in and push for the backup shop or make that a real competition? Well, I, you know, I, I'd like to think in, uh, in, in pro sports, there's always competition. It's just the nature of uh, our business. It's, it's what we do. It's the world we all live in. And so um, we always have competition in, in all the respective positions, and guys are going to push one another uh, to be at their best. And we're, we're going to try to put the best guys on the ice that give us the best chance to win. Why do you believe Kasperi Kapanen struggled for large stretches of last season, and what do you think he needs to do to take the next step this season? I'm not sure I have a valid answer for the first question. Um, you know, we know Cappy's a good player. We know he's uh, he's capable of uh, of more. Um, you know, Cappy and I have talked to about talked to him about that. I got to do a better job coaching him, and uh, and I'm going to try to do that this year to try to help him. Uh, but but we believe in him. We know he's a good player. He can play the game we're trying to play here. I'm excited to watch him this year. He seemed like he was finding something with Carter towards the end of last year. Was that your impression? And is that something? You would like to explore again more? Yeah, it was my impression, and uh, and and we will explore it. You know, it's one of the reasons why we have them with carts right now, and uh, you know we'll see where that goes. There's you know nothing's etched in stone here, as you know, and so we'll uh, we'll make decisions as we go on on which combinations we think give us the best chance to win. But you know, Cappy's an, an interesting player because I think we can move him up and down the lineup depending on what the needs of the team are. Uh, you know, he's capable of playing in a top six role. He can play with Sid or Gino. Uh, he can play with Karts. So uh, he's a versatile player, brings a ton of speed, can really shoot the puck. Um, you know, there are some areas of his game that we're trying to encourage him to uh, to engage a little more in. You know, we think he can get, he can get better in, in the offensive zone and, and just, just in, in creating offense different ways, just not utilizing the speed off the rush, but also getting in the grind game a little bit. And... Uh, embracing the traffic game because we think he's capable uh he's big and strong and he's very capable of playing in that aspect and i think in today's game it's an important part of creating offense and so we're trying to help cappy in that capacity but um i think he's got i think i think he showed a little bit of chemistry with carts last year when we put him with him i know he really looks up to carts and, and carts has been a good mentor for him the line combinations we have seen through these two days here so far you, you have like two guys like jake and sid working with maybe a newer guy Valtteri. is that still your Pack your preference to have those two guys established and see what the third guy might be able to do? Yeah, so we're, we're trying to put guys in positions where they can play to their strengths. And so, for example, we have Sid and Jake together, and, you know, Pusty's a guy that has real good offensive instincts. That That's a guy that uh, that potentially could play an offensive role for us. So we're going to put him with offensive guys and, and see – um, and see how he does, and um, you know we've done the same with with other guys. You know Philip Hallander is a guy uh, that brings a solid two way game, but a pretty pretty sound defensive conscience. Uh, you know, so he's uh, we got him playing with Carts and Cappy, and uh, you know that that potentially if if Philip was to make our team, that potentially could be an area where he could he could play. So we're trying to put guys in positions, young guys in particular, where. Uh, they have an opportunity to uh, to show what they can do, uh, but we're also trying to continue to develop chemistry with some of uh, some of our veteran established players. And you know, it's no secret Sid and Jake play together an awful lot, and so uh, you know that that combination has been very successful to this point. Uh, so you know, we we decided we would stay with it. What are your initial impressions of Drake Kajula? I think he's been pretty good so far. You know, he brings a ton of speed. He's uh, you know, he's uh, tenacious on the puck. Um, you know, when, when you know, once again, we're, we're trying to put guys in positions where they, they, they might have an opportunity to play to their strengths. Uh, you know, Gino and Rusty are, are guys, they played an awful lot together in their time here as, as Penguins. And uh, we just thought we would try a speed guy, a guy that, that, um, that, ha that can bring some, some energy and bring some tenacity uh, on the puck. Uh, and see what that might look like. Um, that line's been really good so far. Like uh, Brian Ross said, he's always trying to reach that next level. At first, it was just becoming a regular in the NHL, and then becoming a top six guy, and now hopefully becoming one of the better players on the team, if not the league. Just what is a level that you think that he potentially at some point could reach? Well, I, you know, I, I think I've said this uh, to you guys in the past, and in, in my experience of coaching in this league. Um, you know, 20-something years now, 
I don't know that I've ever seen a player evolve and develop his game to the extent that Rusty's done it. You know, I, I had him in Wilkes-Barre, you know, what seemed like a million years ago, but, and, and just to watch his game evolve, he's always been a sound defensive player. He's been a good energy guy. His speed has been his strength, but to watch his offensive game evolve the way it has, uh, has been impressive. And he, he deserves so much credit for how hard he works at it. I think the influence of some of the, some of the players that he's played with, Sid in particular, I think have really helped him in that development as well. Uh, but Rusty has has really developed his overall complete game, and and I'm not sure where the limit is for him. You know, he's uh, he's been a real integral part of this group and the success that it's had. Uh, he's shown an ability to play at his best when the stakes are high. Uh, he, you know, he was very uh, a huge part of the of the Stanley Cups. Uh, in, in you know in his younger years and and I think he's evolving as a leader as well off the ice and in the locker room and so uh, every year he comes back he's a driven he's a driven athlete uh, he doesn't take anything for granted he works at his game um, and my mind he's a prototypical Pittsburgh Penguin you know he's I, I think Sid is the standard uh, there um, but I think players like Rusty and Jake and guys like that uh, have have been held accountable to that standard for so many years. Uh, they've become part of that now, and uh, and so his leadership off the ice I've watched grow, uh, but his overall complete game uh, it's just been impressive to watch it develop over the years. What are your thoughts on uh, Alex Nylander? Where his game is at? What does he need to do to get a shot up here? So he's got real good offensive instincts. I'm trying to familiarize myself a little bit more with his game. I. I I'd like to reserve judgment till I see him a little bit more and get him in some exhibition games. But we know he's a skilled player. We know he's got good offensive instincts. Um, you know, we're going to push him to play with more pace because we think he's capable there. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll see what his, what his game looks like on both sides of the puck. But his first couple days, I think he's been pretty good. Any update on Colin Sawyer? I believe he was absent today. So he, he was out today with, uh, with a lower body injury. Uh, his status right now is day to day. I'll update you. Mike, what are your uh, observations been on Zahorna? I mean, it looks faster. I don't know um, if he's showing more confidence with the puck as well, but he, he's had some made some nice plays in the first couple of days of camp. Have you seen growth from him in any areas? So it's still early. We're only two days in. So, it, you know, once again, I'd like to reserve judgment. But in the first two days, this might have been the best start to camp that Z's had since he's been here. So uh, that's real encouraging. Uh, he looks uh, he looks a step faster. He looks uh, He looks a bit stronger. He's stronger on the puck. And I'm sure he's more comfortable in his surroundings. You know, he's 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 been over here now for for a couple of years. Um, you know, he has relationships with with the players on the team. He's familiar with the coaches, uh, and I'm sure that helps as well. But uh, I think his fitness level is the best that I've seen it to this point, also, which is something that we've pushed him to get better at. Mike, it's 